what can American or North American disciples uh, learn from disciples overseas? Uh, what, 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 what's going right over there that sometimes we're off? Yeah. Um, I think, I think, uh, Chris had said, I think relationships, we are North Americans. We approach relationships different than let's say our brothers and sisters in Africa. Just a fact. It's not better, not worse. It's just as different. Um, we're a little bit more transactional. Uh, they're a little bit more relational, right? So a friend of mine from Africa was saying, if you're invited to a wedding, you, let's say you're going to have a wedding at noon, you're probably not really getting started till about 3.30. <laughs> and, and I'm like, but well, nobody comes at noon? They're like, nah, it's just a suggested start time. <laughs> so what does the groom and what does the bride and groom do? Well, they just wait. <laughs> so because they're they're celebrating, they're having fun, they're being they're in relationship. I would say that's the first thing is learn that relationships take time and you need to give some space in your own life to that. And then secondly, is the global church is just the word obedience comes to mind. They just go out and do it. 